the project conceptualized by President Museveni in 2008 to enhance regional connectivity and trade. The project encountered setbacks when initial plans with a Chinese company called China Harbor and Engineering Company Limited fell through due to funding hesitations. The Ugandan government then engaged Yapi Marquez to undertake this critical infrastructure project. After extensive negotiations, the contract for the 1,700 km railway line, beginning with a 273 km stretch from Malaba to Kampala, has been signed, with completion expected in at least four years. This standard gauge railway, because of the speed which you had, 100 for, for goods, 120 for passenger, you'll be able to move the goods faster and people faster and safer. The idea really, the whole thing behind was to enable trade, facilitate trade, movement of goods and people faster, safer and more affordable. Future extensions will include routes from Kampala to Mpond at the DRC border connecting through Bihanga and also going to Moko in Kabale then stretching to Merma Hills at the border of Uganda and Rwanda and another route from Toro to Gulu, reaching Nimule at the border of South Sudan and Uganda. So if we are going to facilitate trade in this country, not only in our country, but also in the region, then we must have, we must make making business, uh, doing business cheap. That's the only, cheap at first, because business people, time is of essence. He wants his container from Mombasa to here in two days or one day, not 14, <laughs> because he has to go back load and bring more goods. The entire SGR initiative is projected to cost approximately 2.7 billion euros and is going to be funded by the Ugandan government. Yapi Marquez is also the same company involved in Tanzania's SGR project. It will provide a railway system for both cargo and passenger services. Yapi Marquez is one of the leading Turkish overseas contractors which have successfully completed various projects in Africa and other continents. I'm confident that Yapo Marquez will deliver the railway on time. The cargo trains are expected to travel at 100 km per hour, while passenger trains 120 km per hour, aiming to reduce transportation costs and travel times and also strengthen the regional economy. And this SGR is going to be a game changer for the government of Uganda Uganda will be a, tra a transport hub linking up with South Sudan through SGR, linking up with DRC, linking up with the Republic of Rwanda. As Yapo Merkezi, we are incredibly proud to bring our over 50 years of experience in rail construction to this endeavor. Our company has always believed in the power of infrastructure to drive development and we are committed to delivering the highest standards of engineering and sustainability for this railway. After 16 years of Ugandans waiting for the start of the construction of the SGR project, the project is set to take flight in the first week of November 2024. Christmas, Arinitwe, UBC News.